my YouTube uh, activity and hobby basically comes down to a particular thing, at least the conscious part. I'm sure you could point out, well, someone could, you know, all the reasons and whatnot. But uh, the main thing is, I learned a long time ago that it really helped when, um, to sometimes, when considering philosophy, try to formulate your ideas as if you're presenting them to an audience. I found this out by writing, creative writing. I found when, in my case, when you, when I write, that would be weird if in my case you wrote, but anyway, when I write, it's necessary to imagine some sort of virtual audience and personalities, a group of people. And it's related to why it's good to pitch some sort of idea to another person and get some feedback. Even if they don't understand you, just having to do that. So if the audience is just, you know, imagined, it's still useful. It's like, well, what if I was telling this to a group of mathematicians? What if I was telling this to a group of paper salesmen? You know, you come up with different things and you can just adopt that as an attitude and the way you present your material, uh, you know, that you're trying to uh, provide exposition on will change, you know, and significantly. So, um, with YouTube, even though I have written a lot and I blog and I did podcasts with YouTube and the fact that it's, um, you know, there's hand motions, there's this visual aspect, whatever you want to call it. Um, to me, I find that simulates best and, you know, presenting to an imagined audience. Now, fine, the fact that you're real, you know, complicates my theory, but still, to me, there's an imagined audience. You know, I don't really know that much about you, and I don't try to, um, but I do imagine, I do create an imagination, you know, an, an imagination, or, you know, an imagination, either one, um, of, of you, I try to make it accurate, but sometimes I might, you know, I'm taking a subset, I'm like, this is a video to this one other YouTuber, or this is a video to this subset. So, uh, you know what I mean? The, the imagination uh, is still involved in identifying and, you know, considering one thing uh, versus another.